La- MLD and Angela and I bump heads. Let's watch. Huh, last take. I don't want a traumatized woman in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any history of trauma. I dealt with those kind of fucking nutbags, and I don't ever want to deal with it ever again. I want to deal with a normal, mentally stable, healthy woman. So and you think you're normal? Exactly. In, in what sense? Well, do you think you have healthy habits? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Weren't you the same one who like fat shamed me like last week or so? I don't know. You think that's normal from a man? Yo. Wait, 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 Angela, you just came out of here, like, just guns blazing? You're just stranger to fat shame somebody? Did I miss something? Am I missing context? I don't remember. Did I call you fat? Oh, don't okay. do that. Don't do that. You know where you were in the chat. <laughs> you knew you were in the chat. Don't, don't do that on camera. I don't know. Oh, shit. Don't do that. You don't do what? Don't do that, like, MLD, because you were like... in the chat with your check mark name doing that. What so was I own saying? Up, hey, listen, it's okay if you want to do those things, yeah. but own up to what you do. What was I saying? I mean, women are apparently like CEO of not taking accountability, but I mean, I guess you should change your pronouns because I'd say you're kind of in the same bracket when it comes to that. All right, I'll get right on that. And All right, not- I'm not going to lie. Here's some context. Here's some real context. This dude, MLD, he really was, when Angela Knight was on the podcast, he was spamming like, "Oh, she's a fat," blah blah blah. Like he was, he was, he was making a bunch. He was making a bunch of these like jokes, untasteful jokes, and then he would admit it in front of camera, bro. That's that that is an L. That is an L. I can't say it's a W. That's just one L. It is what it is. Masculine. But you know, Angela, Angela got she got back, bro. She got back at energy. Let's keep it just masculine saying. energy. High value men. Remember, I told you that. Don't call saying. people whores either. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, yeah. women can't handle criticism. I took that like a champ. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I'll take that. But I think you yourself as a man should probably work on that instead of saying that I don't want to traumatize women because it definitely shows I that don't you want have... I don't want to traumatize women. We don't want to traumatize men either. That's the thing. So okay. that's why it's easier to go to Japan and find the konnichiwa type of girl because they're not going to debate with you. That's the problem. Yeah. That's right. They're just robotic female slaves in Japan. They have no personalities. It they shows. just say konnichiwa. Yeah. So me say all that shit that you like. It, it's it's oh evident God. that you're used Bro, to women who don't check you when you're being irrational thanks. and way out of place. Th- thanks for the whole synopsis on the 37 years of my it life. It shows. You've, uh, well, you've age really doesn't mean to a lot of people. It shows. Like, you could be... My grandma's 80 years old and still drives like shit. It doesn't matter how old you are. So I would have to say, you sound like somebody who really looks down on women with the way that... I mean, you even made a whole hit piece on that. I think that's weird. I didn't make a hit piece on her. This guy. Yo, what is going on, bro? This shit turned mass sour out of nowhere. What the? What am I missing right here, bro? She really drilling him. She really drilling him. Did he say some shit before this? Cause she going hard, bro. This is when this is when she starts her pre-show plan and Bush, right? Uh, but bro, I, I've talked to her behind, uh, you know, on through IG. She says that she didn't know what was gonna go on. She didn't know what was gonna happen. They give they give the uh, basically the topic very last second, right before the show starts. Um, so I, I I don't think it was an ambush. But from this moment on, from the point that I watched, where it just says they bump heads, I don't know what the context is in this exact conversation. But she's drilling them, bro. She's drilling them, uh, and she's making points. Let's keep it hundred, bro. She's making points. Um. Uh, this was coordinated by Nat and Angela pre-show. Nat has never liked MLD. Okay, Durden was the moon landing real because MLD called out Nat's BS, his first appearance on the show. All right, I, I, I don't know. And now I don't. Now there's more context to it that I don't even know, bro. Uh, regardless, if it was a setup, MLD is still a coward. Is still a coward out. Earth is flat. He didn't admit it on camera. Earth is a triangle in this clip. Uh, that shows two months ago. These women really think they're special. He didn't remember a chat from two months ago. LOL. Nah, bro. If if I'm over here and I say and I'm over here like dunking on a girl like uh, Gorlock the Destroyer, the way you guys call her, right? Like I'm gonna remember that, bro. I'm not gonna not remember that. And I'm definitely gonna go, I'm gonna own up to it for sure. I'm gonna own up to it. Uh, and he says she was like, and he said she is like forty pounds. Yeah, that that's that's one of the tweets he said. Why would you want? Why would you want to date to debate? She is definitely triggered. Yeah, she was definitely triggered, bro. She's drilling him. She's drilling him. Adam definitely knew that he was doing. Uh, and she's saying she's saying that he has a lot of hate towards women. From wh- what I've watched thus far, it doesn't seem like he hates women. 
you'd really change your pronouns because I could see that's not your best best trait to actually own up to what you do. And I think that's really disgusting. Why don't you sit in your masculine energy and maybe just apologize for what you said? I think that that's very masculine. I think that's a great way because I feel like, number one, in a war, everyone thinks they're right, right? Yes. So I think that right now is a great opportunity for you to show that. Yo, men look, you got to give it to her, bro. I mean, not not this not this much, but Angela, like, bro, if she was holding that in for that long, like, she she got it back. She got it back and then some. Be masculine. But now, have- now, now I guess they're all going to pounce on him. That's crazy. Things that can also regress and think back about what they said. Maybe in the moment you said it because you got excited or whatever and you were just in in this phase of yours. But I think sitting here in front of her, you're talking about that you want this wife and this submissive person and all of this, but where's your respect towards women? Yes. And don't you run like an entire male empowerment thing? Like I think that's important that people look up to you. And you know what's funny? I act- all right, look, all right. This is where the, this is where it's just getting crazy, bro. Like you're making, you're saying one comment, you know, one fat shaming comment should like devalue everything he's ever done in his life. Like nah, bro. Like nah. Like let's keep it hundred. Nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that dumb. I'm not that fragile. I understand that he said it to you, and this is a personal, you know, one v one. But it's like his whole career, everything he's ever done, just based off one comment, like. Like, oh, he's terrible? No, I, I, I'm not buying that. Subscribed to you prior to you doing that. I thought that was so out of pocket. And I was like, wow, like people like you, respectfully to anyone that's listening. This is why I stepped out of the red pill space because you guys are so quick to demonize women in the West. But mind you, all of these girls have been working since we were old enough to work. A lot of us have to retire our families. But instead of people seeing that, you guys demonize women for masculine traits when we're also working just like you. And we, did, I mean, I don't expect respect, but like there was no beef and it was so unnecessary. And I think it's, I mean, that's accountability that some people should take, but to each their own. Yes. Just saying. What All right, you, so- look, she said her piece, man. She said her piece. There's no, not, like that's, that's her piece, bro. Keep it on. You said that I called you fat. This is upset. I mean, this is cle- upset. Clearly. This is addressing. Well, and why I think don't you want to own up to what you said, though? Why what are you was it? What was it that was said? And if anything, we're kind of built the same, which is funny, dude. We're like, I mean, come on, man. You can't be sitting there acting like we're like, oh. And I'm like, dude, honestly, that's so out of pocket in so many ways. So, so, yo, Melina's like, I don't even know what to say. I don't, oh, my God, bro. Yo, Angela, yo, she's roasting him, bro. I'm keep it 100. She's really roasting him. Bro, you do not want to get into no beef with Angela Knight, bro. That's crazy. Uh, I don't think it's about MLD being right or wrong is that he lost his frame when the girls were trying to test him to see if he was really that guy and he folded and left bro oof I mean yeah man yeah I don't know I mean I haven't seen his reaction yet she should have she could have waited and addressed this before the podcast um I mean why would she bro like like why would she want to start the beef right it did she really just said that <sighs> she started this as soon as he said um that he's a stable person and she's like that's not a stable that's not a stable thing to do like she she really was holding that in the back of her head and and that's the thing with reactions man you got to understand bro that all the shit that you know I come up here and say like you got to be able to really face it and address it in real life bro you got to re- really be able to take it like chill out Best way to not be called fat equals don't be fat. I have. It's good. Prime is mixed for me. So I'll have to try all the flavors, though. Well, I mean, here's the thing, bro. Also, if you are going to call somebody fat, don't be fat yourself, bro. Let's keep it 100. Uh, women have one job. Don't be fat. Yeah, she's getting that wrong. Gets mad because he called her out. No, I think she's mad because she says it right there, bro. She's literally saying it. She's like, you're calling me. You're saying you're stable, but you're calling me fat. You don't know me. What were your reasons for for calling me fat while I'm on another person's live show, which was this show, right? Like, bro, you're gonna get triggered, bro. Like, what the hell? If somebody if somebody said that to you while you're on a show, and you see that you you see that person on another show, like you're gonna address it. This is good content. I'm gonna keep it 100. This is good content. I don't I don't see her doing anything wrong here. Keep it 100. Uh, Prime is mixed for me. Still have to try all the flavors. She's talking to you, Durden. Women have one job. Okay, whatever. Uh, best way to be a coward equals just say it to her face instead of pretending you didn't say it. Yeah, bro. Keep it 100. 
Yeah. yeah I, this came out of left field, but I don't know. I'm like tuned in right now. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't know this was gonna happen. I'm, so, I'm, I'm like Adam right now. This is content, bro. This is content. Here we go. Up to what was said go. and let him clear so the room. If we misinterpreted, good. ladies, hold on. If we didn't right. understand, let him so clear the just, air. Just, I'm, guys, let me just. You know what the thing is? MLD's not a. I don't, well, I don't want to say he's not a troll. I don't know. I don't want to say he don't understand his internet game, but like. <laughs> You're upset because why? I think that, listen, criticism, sure, but be real and own up to whatever mistake you make. Because yes. again, you are okay. leading whatever what, what, what you What did are. I say? What is so upsetting? I don't know. I don't get it. And why didn't you is, talk is to this, me? You is this chick what, supposed what, to be attractive? What, why you do you... all this content and you comment all these things, but you don't remember what you do, but you have all the comments to be made. No, it's okay. I'll just endure this like I should in an abusive relationship. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. She pulled out the jokes, bro. You nah, bro. That's crazy, bro. Okay, so MLD, MLD is not fat. You don't think so, bro? You got a little bit of a gut, bro. Come on, man. We, we could fat shame him a little, bro. Even Sneeko fat shames him. Come on, keep it on. What do you recall of this? <laughs> that I'm MLD just... can't take the face. Look at this, bro. He's never. He's really thinking this is an ambush right now, bro. So I, I feel bad. I feel bad. Waiting for that. I got I... empathy. Empathy. Get it. What, what was said that made you so upset? This is a this is the problem. So if if we reverse the roles, if a woman addressed this, you're, sorry, like, you're being not, emotional. I'm not gonna answer the question. There is nothing. I've why said don't it you like answer five the times. question? I'm asking the question. Well, what, why are you so mad? This is she's mad? already said it. Because what? What, what, what do you mean? He he you're saying excited. that he called you fat and you're addressing. So it. just take accountability. All right, all right, look. Learning lesson. Learning lesson here. Let's keep it 100. Learning lesson. If you're gonna say something online, you gotta be able to just keep it 100 in person. Because once you deny it, bro, like, this is the slippery slope you're heading down, bro. They're just going to pile on you. You've seen the respect level as soon as he denied it went down, 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 down. And then as soon as Nat backed it up, the respect even even more down. And now he's in a room with people that really are not respecting him. So, of course, he's naturally uncomfortable, bro. And he really did put himself there. All right, like, oh, okay, my bad. This is essentially like uh, you made your own bed. Now you got to sleep in it. Because he's just talking about Hennessy. women that they have to do X, Y, and Z and he's all saying, this. believe all women, but never take men at their word. He said he didn't remember. Bro, come on, man. I'm, I mean, I, I'm calling cap on that, bro. Uh, you know, I'm calling cap, bro. I'm calling cap. There's no way you don't remember that. This, what they have to do. Yeah. And you shouldn't, you know. Watch his response video. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. Don't worry treat women badly because they have to submit to you and in tokyo or whatever they're so feminine and this and that but it's here you come here you and when this was a setup with mel from my understanding from what angela knight told me this was not a setup with mel at all this was not a setup with mel at all bro women are making valid points and there are respectable women i, I don't even know if melina and angela know each other like that come in the chat and you fat shame or you go and make pieces about people or whatever it is that you want to do at the end of the day, all that's being said is that, listen, if you're going to do those things, own up to it and then make your point about it. If you're going to do these things and you're not going to own up to it, and you're then then what's the point? You're just what? Bullying people? What like, type of, like, there's no integrity in what you stand on. Like, you, nowadays, like, you're running a space where men stand on principles and honor, but, like, you see someone's face and you completely dismiss the fact that that was disgusting. Like, disgusting. We're not in a Call of Duty lobby. Like, I don't know you. It wasn't like I've said something to you. I said anything Call to you. I've lobby. stepped out of the combative space of the red pill stuff because of guys like you. And you you prove my point to it. It's like, I don't know you. You don't have to do that. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine if I said that like, you're not my preference. I've never attacked you before. Right. I'm again, still waiting for what made you upset. It's okay. Right now, we're going to call you the delusional girl. All right. How about I just, <laughs> we can just stick you to just leave? Because this is retarded. No, I will. Why would you leave, You're, you're upset because... Why would you leave? Wait, let's, you, let's... you literally are... You're an example can for men. Can somebody tell me what you're I said that everybody's so upset about that I'm still waiting on? What was the example that... Just okay, to be clear. I'll, I'll do the three. Was it three? I nah, think I think they should... Yeah, they should name what he said pretty sure it was is this chick supposed to be attractive one two she's 40 pounds too heavy yeah xyz something about weight uh, i wouldn't listen to her like you just went on a rant it was like how do you know that that was him though because it was his name with the check mark in the chat do you recall doing that i guess so so uh, okay, you're so mad you okay. you're, you're mad because i said you're 40 pounds <laughs> overweight <laughs> I'm on every chat. I'm in Fresh and Fit. You know how it is when you're a streamer. You're in all these chats. I did like six shows in the last six days. So just say sorry. So just own no, up no, to being wait, a piece of shit. Well, no, no. So I'm not. So first of all, I'm not a piece of shit. You don't so think don't that's piece of like shit that. behavior. Okay. Don't talk to me like that. All right. <laughs> Secondly. See you're upset. All right. I said, Bro, he's getting piled on. You know, I low-key kind of feel bad, but uh, fuck. It is what it dead. is. Dead.
I do think maybe you're 40 pounds overweight. Sure. So what's wrong with that? All right. In this scenario, you have to laugh, bro. I As much as you don't want to laugh, you got to find a way to just fucking laugh, bro. Change this into a joke. You know, uh, at the end of the day, the, the true thing that I think would probably be the best thing here is just apologize, bro. Be like, yo, you know what? I'm sorry. I hurt your feelings in front of everybody. Like, it is what it is, bro. Try to, you know, mend, mend with, with the people in the room. Like... Match each other's energy. All I had to say was you need to like own up to your shit because it's weird that you would I just face did. me. Yeah, after like pulling teeth. Are you good? No, after you talking over me and freaking this trauma dumping over me on the I show. See, See, you, you, you pick these you know words and like you you throw them onto you. But if I if I oh, acted God, the way you content, act, bro. you would demonize me. If I literally attacked you the way you attacked me, if I said the things that that's disrespectful. If another man said the shit that you said to me, oh, that's fighting words. But yet a woman says it to you, oh, she's being dramatic. She's masculine. She's emotional. But I didn't call I, you but, but, any of those where's things. Where's the vein coming out of my neck that I'm so triggered right now that, oh, she's mad. I think it's disgusting that you act the way. It's so You're like- You're saying never apologize, stand on it. You see, here's, here's the thing is that he didn't apologize to begin with. Then he stood on it and now he's eating his own shit, bro. So like, bro, like, and then he just walks I, away. He's not even standing on it, right? Uh, and Dr. Dirty, you're saying he's leaving because he had a hard out at 6 p.m. He told Adam that pre-show. Now Nat is saying, why would he leave? How, how do we, how do you know this, Dr. Durden? I need, I need to know. How, how do you know this? How do we know he had a hard out at 6 p.m., right? Uh, no, do not apologize. If you think she's overweight, she's overweight. Stand on it. Ten toes down. Don't apologize. Okay, okay. Let me, let me hear this out. Her feelings being hurt when he states his opinion, it's just that. It's his opinion. He can think she's overweight and she can think she's hurt by it. Okay, so then you're saying that in this scenario, laugh it. Don't joke about don't don't apologize, but just essentially keep calling her fat. <laughs> like that's what he should that's what he should have done in this situation. Uh never apologizing for calling a fat girl a fat girl, like they won't for calling a short guy short or a broke guy broke. Okay. I can see the I can see the understanding behind it. I can see the understanding behind it, right? But in real life, when you're denying it. Like you look bad, bro. You look bad. Maybe don't apologize. I don't know. If you you should only really apologize if you genuinely feel like it. Like you want to apologize. Here he's he's not really in the mood to apologize. So best case scenario, you don't want to apologize. You want to be ten foot down. Okay, cool. So then make jokes. Make jokes. Laugh. Counter all this energy because the energy he's giving right now is very shameful energy. And women they smell this shit and piranhas, bro. Piranhas. 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 You see Angela right now. This is this this is this is where she thrives in. This is the space, the competitive space. She says she wanna be out of it, but she thrives here, bro, because she roasting. She roasting and she has every right to. Let's keep it hundred. Attractive and not manly, but yet you sit here and shame women. Oh, I can't wait to go back to Japan. I just think there again, you're Okay, Dr. Dern, you're saying he ha he said he had a hard out right before Angela bought this whole thing up. Okay, so he said it before this a bunch of cows to follow you and you're like yeah this is how men should act that's not how men in my family and in my life act and it's so unattractive that you think that's normal so you are part of the problem in the west is what i'm basically okay. saying okay so let's try to put a silver lining on this thing this came <laughs> out in christ how should he have acted in your opinion we walked in the green room all you had to do was say hey no hard feelings i was just on the little juice a little bit i was tripping my bad i would have been like all right bro like all fairs were that's fine i would have dropped it but the fact that you walk in the room you don't address it you sit here it's like awkward and i'm like this is how again you, people like you ah uh, okay okay angela bro is this is kind of you admitting that you was literally sitting down in that chair holding it in for so long bro like raging out then as soon as you had the opportunity just attack 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 yeah no this was this was not in good faith this was not in good faith to submit to i this think i think angela you had a lot more of an emotional impact towards it because obviously the comment the comments were directed towards you maybe you should address it bro like Garbage I, not because let's be honest, MLD just didn't give a fuck. He don't care. He, he didn't even realize if you gave, if you gave a fuck or not. But you care a lot more than he did. Sent. And you know, well, women are not submissive. Why would I submit to that type of activity? But again, this is showbiz. That's fine. You're totally entitled to that. I'll give you, uh, you know. I didn't even know who she is when I was in the waiting room. So that's the oh whole point. Oh my <laughs> God. You, you are meant for the camera, my friend. You are something else. You don't know who she was when you were in the chat? 
No. It's, it's, you know. <laughs> so he had Brandon Carter's podcast to do right after this. He had to drive from Fort Lauderdale, downtown Miami for Brandon. Okay. In the back room? No, it's okay. All right, well, how about this? Oh, my God. Is there anything you, you would like to yourself. take back Good or job. apologize? Whatever you want. No, not after okay. being treated like that? Absolutely not. I'm not going to be talked down to by, like, some child that has no decency to communicate with me in a respectful Can manner. You, it starts with you. What okay. man leads a relationship like that? You don't even have to lead a right. general All right, you guys, you guys are better than me. You went. Cool. Next next okay. question, Amazing. Please. Anyway. She's not talking uh, down to you. She's a you guys good? She's just confronting Amazing. Amazing. You guys good? All right. I had like three more topics to get to, but I'm sitting in the middle of this like, holy shit. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys, at least after the show, can hug it out. I don't know if that's possible. I got a Maybe hard out wrestle. at six. I told you. Okay. We got to get you on. Anyway. Okay, he has a, uh, now he's saying he has a hard out at six. Five, guys, five. I hope you enjoyed this last segment. This came out of nowhere. So he didn't this run. Is, he didn't run. Let's be fair. He didn't run. TV, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't expect that one happening. But I hope you guys genuinely can figure this out after the show. No hard feelings. I understand where you're at. I understand where you're at. Um, Natalia. The host yeah. wants to moderate. Final super chats. Let's get some some winners okay, and we'll we go, go to the happy ending and we got to wrap up for today. Okay. So I will you go. See, through. I know Angela is not interested in this. She says she, she this is why she stepped out of the space. But bro, this is great content, bro. MLD versus Angela Knight part two. I'm down to watch that today. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, what's see this? I'm terrible, bro. I'm terrible. All right, I'll start with the one on my screen right here. Being cheeks, I never subbed to right, Angela dips. or MLD, but Angela got my vote for the for the rose. Typical red pill guys never take accountability for the same way. Only fans, girls in their future. Uh, then we have this one. Being cheeks. Have he's not in a he's not in a relationship with Angela. What, what did I say? What did I say? That, uh, deemed that comment. Uh, compare this podcast versus the next one with Mel. They lied. More enthusiasm reading nah they all l's all right all right he's not in a relationship with with you angela um oh with you angela do you really believe mld remembered this girl out of all the girls that he roast in his chat yeah bro but yeah bro i'm gonna be honest Pat, i will uh, be honest. if he's going that hard at angela he really remembers her bro it's cap i think he does his response video explosive hookup culture debate donovan sharp all right i'm gonna watch it and Adam soft as fuck. Control your co-host. Come on, bro. Yeah, That's cool. content. He taught divorce is actually worse than average men. They end up lying um, in their cars. MLD roast countless girls in this chat, but he's supposed to remember them all. Yeah, okay. And uh, sitting on earth for men of 40 self-destruction. Sorry, it was a little blurry when I took a picture. Uh, then we have uh, Redo. Uh, Hold on, Destiny. guys. Uh, as we're doing this, uh, production team, real quick, I know we're, we're wrapping up. MLD literally has to go. He's yeah. not walking off. No. He said at 6 o'clock he needed to, to hard out at 6 o'clock right okay, now. Okay, so he didn't run. He didn't run. He didn't run. And I'm so 